Ever dreamed of creating full-length AI videos on your own PC without a GPU that costs more than your rent? Well, buckle up. Today, I'm showing you how to generate up to 60-second videos using just 6 GBs of VRAM, thanks to a game-changing tool called FramePack, completely free and totally local, and running inside Comfy UI. This is a snapshot of the video we will creating today. And as you can see, the video published by the author are quite good. You can check the repo of FramePack for more detail. I will provide the link in the video description. One step before starting installing our model to generate amazing video, a subscribe and pushing the like button will help the channel to grow fast. First of all, we need to download the Comfy UI custom node to be able to run FramePack. Go to this GitHub repo, you will find the link in the description and download the latest version. We will copy it in the right place later. Now let's grab all what we need. Here, I'm downloading the workflow that will be used to generate our video. Big thanks to Kijai, he prepared everything we need. The next steps will be downloading the models, and let's start by the transformer. As you can see, there's two version A BF16 model and a more lighter FB8. I will go with the FP8 model. It requires 16 gigabyte of disk space and it will download faster. If you want to download the BF16 model, it is around 25 gigabyte and both will run on you GPU. The next model to grab is the VAE. You will find it in the same repo. Go ahead and get it. If you want the full precision, you can download the FP32 model, but the FP16 is lighter and do the job without issue. The next model to download is the SIG clip. This model plays a key role in helping frame pack align the prompt with visual elements in the scene. It enhances the model's ability to understand and match longer or more detailed prompts to visual tokens, which is essential for accurately describing and generating our video. Let's search the two remaining models. We can find both in the profile of Comfy.org under the Repo Hunyan video repackaged. Clip L and Llama Lava model are text encoder model responsible for converting your written prompt into a numerical representation that the AI can understand. In the frame pack workflow, it works alongside SIG Clip to help the model grasp the meaning and nuance of your prompt, especially when it's detailed or poetic. It think of it as a translator between your words and the visuals the AI creates. Finally, we have downloaded all required models, custom node and workflow. Now we only need to put everything in place inside the Comfy UI folders. Let's start by Comfy UI Frame Pack Wrapper. We need to place it under the custom node subdirectory in Comfy UI. A quick note, depending on how you installed Comfy UI, you may have more file and folder under your root directory compared to me. Now, let us copy the clip L model under Comfy UI models text encoder. You'll notice that the required models are already present in my Comfy UI subdirectory. I added them earlier when I first started experimenting with frame pack. Now, I'm walking you through the full setup step by step to make sure you get everything right the first time and truly enjoy the video generation experience. The next model to copy is Llama Lava, and it also goes to the text encoder subfolder, so copy it too. Okay, only two model to put in place. Let us copy our main model, the Framepack i2v. This model will go under Comfy UI Models checkpoints. To keep things organized, I created subfolders based on model architectures. Since Framepack is built on the Hun Yuan architecture, I placed its models in the corresponding folder. You're free to organize your models however it makes the most sense for you. Now, we have the VAE model. It plays a key role in compressing and reconstructing the visual data used during generation, essentially helping the model encode and decode images with greater efficiency and detail. You'll need to place it inside the Comfy UI Models VAE folder. Finally, the SIG Clip L model goes under Models Clip Vision. It encodes your text prompts into visual friendly tokens, helping FramePack accurately interpret and generate detailed scenes, 
especially with longer or more descriptive inputs. All models are in place. The final step is to drag and drop the workflow JSON file into the Comfy UI web interface, and you're ready to start generating your video. Let's walk through the workflow. If you see a video preview already playing, that's normal. I ran it a few times before recording to make sure everything was working properly. Oh, and don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of the awesome videos coming your way. Here, I'm going to disable a few nodes we won't be using in this run. It's a good way to keep things clean and organized as we work through the workflow. Next, I will correct the model's path based on how I place them into comfy UI subdirectories. I'll also disable this group of nodes. It's meant to guide the model in generating an outro image, but to keep things simple, we won't use it. We don't need extra guidance for the final scene in this run. Here's the key parameter to set. Video length, it's defined in seconds. You can go up to 60 or even 120 seconds, but keep in mind, longer videos take much more time to generate. I'll share some benchmark times later. Now it's time to write your prompt to describe the video you want to create. Don't hold back. Be as detailed and descriptive as possible. Break your prompt into multiple chapters or scenes if your video has different parts, moods, or transitions. In addition to your detailed prompt, you should also add a reference image that reflects the style, mood, or content you're aiming for. This is the final generated video, and honestly, I'm really impressed with the results. The level of detail is just stunning. One of the things that stood out to me the most is how the waves move. They flow in such a beautiful, organic way, dynamically shifting without ever spilling out of the teapot. It's subtle, but really elegant. The model did an excellent job understanding the environment, too. If you look closely in the background, you'll notice the candle flame. It flickers realistically, reacting to the wind caused by the impact of the waves. That kind of detail makes the scene feel alive and coherent. It's a great example of how far AI video generation has come. By the way, the sound of the wind and waves was added later during video editing. I really wish the model could generate audio as part of the video generation process. That would take the immersion to the next level. Now place to some numbers. The first video was generated using an RTX 3090, and it took around 90 minutes to produce a 30 second video. And the VRAM usage is about 19 gigabyte. Next, to test the model's performance on a low VRAM GPU, I ran it on an RTX A2000 with 12 gigabyte of memory. Using the exact same model, workflow, and settings, it successfully generated a 5-second video in about 50 minutes. The VRAM usage peaked at around 9GB.